Donuts. Today we are going to be interviewing. Well, you want me to interview myself? I'm glad to do that. I'm really good no. at it. No. <laughs> no. We are not going to be it. No, you are not going to be interviewing yourself. Darn. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to be interviewing you. Okay. Please say your name now. Marjorie Goldberg. Yes, today And it's are... spelled M-A-R-G-E-R-Y, not the way the lunatic in Congress spells her name. Okay, now we're going to ask you a few questions. Why did you become a art person? Well, I became an art person at a very, very young age. When I was four, I took dance classes. When I was 10, I took sculpture classes at the Rochester Memorial Art Gallery, which was right behind my, right in front of my dad's office. My father owned a big printing and advertising company in Rochester, New York, and they were big art collectors. And, and the minute I put my hands on a piece of clay, I knew I was a sculptor. I never thought I was a painter. Um, and I have never wavered from that ever since. Um, I've only added things like, you know, being a sculptor, becoming a woodworker, owning an art gallery, running an art center, starting a nonprofit, and a few other things in between. Okay, that's really nice. And also, why did you make your house an art gallery? Well, I had a number of different galleries. My uh, I started with, after college, a studio in Georgetown for four, uh, four years where I just made my own sculpture. And then after that had a fire, um, a huge piece of property was found for me at uh, 15th and Rhode Island in 1978. And it was less than 10 years after the riots. And it had been the Washington Bible College. And before and after that, it was a... International School of Law. Well, my landlords bought the whole property. It was 50,000 square feet of space. And so I opened up the gallery in the back and my studio in a uh, group called the Dance Exchange and Studio Theater also took space. And then once I opened the gallery, the owners of the property asked me if I would rent the rest of the space out to artists. And they would renovate it. And I got my apartment there for managing it. And so there were 50 artist studios, and about half the artists lived there. Julie Dickerson Thompson was one of the artists who had a studio there. So that's how long I've known Julie. And then I was there for nine years until the city closes down in a zoning dispute. <laughs> and as I say, the District of Columbia has a way of patting you on the back on one hand and the other hand slapping you upside the head. <laughs> so the year I was I was nominated for the Mayor's Arts Awards in, uh, in the contribution to careers in the arts, the city closed my arts center not in a zoning dispute. So then we moved the gallery to 7th Street. And finally I was in a neighborhood that actually was getting um, upgraded because the first few times 7th Street was never fixed while I was there, and in Georgetown, mm -hmm. the incinerator they kept saying was going to be done any time, and it wasn't. It was done in the 2000s, <laughs> not in the 70s. So 7th Street was definitely um, uh, improving the whole time I was there, and I was there for 24 years. And then after 2009... Um, mm. our, our last show was called Inaugural Inspirations, mm. and it was about mm. the uh, Barack Obama's inauguration. And after that, we hit sales, and then I moved the gallery to my home because I got tired of street-level retail, and uh, it turned out to be the best decision I could have made, frankly. And I still have a presence downtown. I have a large space I curate um, at 12th and Pennsylvania across from, thank God, no longer our president's hotel, or it's his hotel, but he's not our president. And so we have a presence downtown. And, uh, and, and we, have, we show other places. We have a big show. Uh, one of my artists has a show up at the Hillwood Museum currently. 
So we work on a lot of projects, and I still sculpt, and now we are, um, I have a nonprofit, and we are now building a wood shop, which you saw, and a mobile wood shop to train a new generation of Finnish and rough carpenters. So that got funded during the pandemic. So I've actually been very fortunate because I've had a great pandemic. The gallery's been open the entire time, um, and we've been selling because, you know, eventually when you buy art, you got to look at it, <laughs> you know, even though I do sell a lot online. But uh, so this is, you know, I for the garden tour, I called my property my pandemic paradise. And if, if my, and my favorite place right now is outside, there's a wood sculpture of a heron sitting on the back wall there. And a, a, one of our robins made a nest on it and is having babies. <laughs> so, and that's the second time this summer that's happened. So, um, it is, you know, and I have a big property, so I have my sculpture garden and, you know, we're building a shop and we've got the mobile shop. So, uh, we do a lot around here. Thank you. Thank you for that wonderful news. You're welcome. I got one more question okay. for you. Okay. One more question about her artwork. Mm -hmm. Why do you love all art? I don't love all art, but I love most art. And the artwork I like the best is when people think up their own uh, technique and they, they do something that nobody else has ever done. I always, people ask me, how do you get in the gallery? And I say, you have to knock my socks off. I've got to see something I've never seen before. These maps are a good uh, mm -hmm. indication. And my work is very unusual. Your mom's, your grandma's work is unusual. Mm -hmm. This Michael Manzo. So I like the unusual. People come here to see things they've never seen before. You know, it's, I don't want to show them things they've necessarily seen. I want to show them things they've never seen. And I have to say that art and science are my hope for the future because, um, you know, we are, hopefully we're trying to save the planet for you guys. Thank you. Thank you very yeah. much. And this is going to be the end of the interview, so we will see you next interview. Bye.